most functions in nature do not jump around. This is the concept of continuity. And in this video, I'm just going to introduce this concept very informally. Say that I'm graphing the temperature versus the time of day. And I give you a graph that looks like this. It's going up. And then suddenly the temperature is up here. This graph probably doesn't strike you as very realistic. One moment, the temperature was here, let's say 60 degrees. Another moment, it's 80 degrees and it just goes from 60 to 80 instantaneously. You probably think, and I also think this, that that can't happen. If it's going from 60 to 80, it has to warm up over time. Something like that. A point in the graph where we see behavior like I had drawn, where the graph jumps like that, such a point. is called a discontinuity. And a function without discontinuity is, is called a continuous function. I already made this observation that most natural functions are continuous. Discontinuities in nature usually represent some kind of outside force acting on the system. For example, we could look at the velocity of a falling object over time. The curve will look something like this. You can see it's approaching terminal velocity. And then when a discontinuity happens, that is to say, when the object hits the ground, its velocity will be zero. Discontinuities are somewhat more common in human-made disciplines such as economics. We, of course, have not formally defined a discontinuity yet, but this is only the first video. We still have much to say on this topic. 